Hey there everybody, Pete here from Comic Book Geezers. Welcome to another edition of the show. Today we're going to look at a, a pretty cool short series from the DC Vertigo imprint, uh, which ran from 1989 through 1996, a total of 75 issues. Uh, now it's just been announced that they're actually going to make a Netflix series out of this. We're talking about The Sandman, created by Neil Gaiman. Okay, uh, drawn by a whole assortment of guys, including Sam Keith, uh, Mike Dringenberg, Jill Thompson, Sean McManus, Mark Hempel, Brian Talbot, and Michael Zuli, um, with uh, most of the covers done by Dave McKean, lettering by Todd Klein. Uh, I've got most of the trades here, right? The old, or sometimes called graphic novels, the nice little collections here. Uh, pretty cool stuff. This is uh, much more of a fantasy, uh, even somewhat of a horror title, okay? Definitely um, something different. This is not your typical superhero story or uh, series from DC. You know, maybe if you're someone who uh, likes a little bit more off-the-beaten-path stuff of John Constantine, right? or Swamp Thing, or even to an extent Watchmen. It's a, definitely more of that kind of literary style of comic book writing. Uh, I believe this series of trades ran 10 issues. I've got the, got the first eight so far. Uh, pretty cool stuff. So this basically, uh, the main character of the Sandman is this guy called Dream, also goes by the name Morpheus. Okay, and he's one of the seven endless they're kind of like siblings in a weird way you've got destiny death desire despair delirium and destruction okay and then when you add dream those are the endless right and uh a lot of this is just non like just like short i want to say short stories because while some of this does continue from issue to issue um, and there are like themes that kind of pop up and, and different, you know, certain storylines which kind of carry over a lot of these, uh, these issues that make up this series. Um, you know, they were like kind of like one offs, right? Uh, it's not like you, um, it's not like you had one central storyline which, which goes from issue to issue to issue. So here is, here's our main character right there. It's kind of there's also kind of like a steampunkish, which kind of goes through a lot of these really good artwork. Uh, this is like I said, this is definitely different. Definitely lots of dialogue, lot of religious themes. Okay, you know I mentioned John Constantine. Uh, and you know you do get some of the other DC universe that pop up from time to time. But this almost kind of like operates on its own own kind of agenda. And you got Lucifer Morningstar shows up here. Um, let's just open up a couple of these here. You know, Neil Gaiman is definitely uh, cut from a different cloth. He, you know, as, far as a comic book writer, he just comes across as like a, you know, like a novelist. And a lot of these these stories are pretty involved and you know you've got the different artists that worked throughout this series so that you know like for me especially I, I wasn't reading these off the uh, off the racks I was actually you know I read these in these collections and it's just it was really interesting to get the different artistic flavors from book to book here uh, sometimes uh, very cartoony looking other times very artful uh, you know, in some cases there's a lot of dialogue, in some cases there's not a lot. But this main character is just is just really, really interesting, and his interactions with his fellow uh, Endless, uh, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we're looking back on this, it's been a little while since I read some of these. But uh, very cool artwork. Definitely something that you're going to have to take some time with. And what's interesting is like a lot of these stories take you throughout the centuries. 
okay so this is not not a lot of this is not happening in modern times here so uh, you're kind of going all throughout the history of the world and there are some pretty extreme and bloody scenes here okay you got some nudity you got some you got some gore you got some blood at times uh, but pretty pretty fascinating definitely not your standard comic book fair by any means and what's also interesting too is that you know your main character dream or morpheus as he's also going by is not always in every single storyline or sometimes he will just pop in you know for a couple panels so you've got like all these different characters all these different scenarios that are happening uh at times you you might think like some of it's related some of it's not and then he'll pop in or one of the other endless will pop in and they'll kind of make it all you know kind of it'll then it'll make make a little bit of sense but you know you get the feeling throughout all of this that all of these different uh, endless characters um are pretty lonely it's a pretty sad existence they're going through at times they get along at times they're they're at odds sometimes they need each other sometimes they don't uh all sorts of characters and creatures and things and uh it's really uh like i said something very unique in the history of comic book publishing you know here let's i tend to gravitate towards some of the the earlier ones which i think have some of the uh the most incredible artwork um but like i said it's kind of it's kind of all over the place at times I'm trying to get you some other real good looking stuff here so again if you like if you like fantasy and and horror comics definitely for mature readers uh i would highly recommend this stuff it's um it's pretty out there it, it actually took me a little bit to kind of really get into what was happening here both from the you know the writing as well as the artwork and uh but you know it um it's very unusual for comic books any comic books in the history of comics to be recognized by the kind of literary society you know the society that normally recognizes novels and books and fiction nonfiction, that sort of thing and you know along with um watchmen and v for vendetta and uh, the dark knight um, rises and all that kind of stuff um these Dark Knight Return, sorry. Uh, these Sandman comics and stories uh, are recognized as such as great works of fiction in within the comic book realm. So really, really good stuff. Uh, definitely out there. So if you're looking, there's Mr. Mr. Gaiman himself. Okay. He's written lots of stuff, both, uh, you know, as far as books and comics. He's definitely got a... Uh, mind that is working on a different plane than the rest of us i didn't mean to say he was crazy or anything like that but he's definitely his creativity he's got a mind that uh really out there for creating like kind of themes and characters and things that uh you don't normally think of that are kind of beyond what some other folks are doing so there you have it a quick look at the sandman uh i would absolutely recommend i think these have been released uh like i said i think there's 10 volumes in this series this is the uh the uh, the vertigo imprint which is no longer being used by um by dc but uh there are also other omnibuses that uh, i think there's a there's a five volume series and a three volume series that kind of pulls all these together so but they're pretty easy to find and uh, definitely pretty cool definitely different uh if, if you're really looking to sink your teeth into something that's off the beaten path from the normal superhero fare sandman is definitely something to latch on to so check it out and uh we'll see you again real soon uh might be doing a couple of these short uh videos over the next week uh until bill and i get back together to do uh some of our things that we've been looking to do so uh stay tuned for all that and more thanks for your subscriptions and um tell all your friends to check us out and uh look forward to seeing your comments take care everybody i am Pete from comic book users for wild bill and for kirk uh, we'll see you guys real soon take care bye, -bye.